be, be beneficial. Another question we have says, I know that the basic reason for creating human beings is to worship God, but what is the motivation for God to create in the first place? Yeah, that's a good, good question. We don't believe that God, there's nothing that motivates God outside of God's essence. That there's no, there's no in, you know, in these, in the, in the, in the, what, what they call the four uh, causes, you know, the, the, the um, material, efficient, formal, and final. So that final cause is called in Arabic, right? That is, is why something's done. So, so the one doing it is being compelled to do it because there's some gharab. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not have gharab in that way. But the bounty of God is that it's, it, it, it overflows from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's bounty. And it's the tajalliyat of, of the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, I mean, there's an apocryphal tradition that's mentioned by a lot of our scholars كُنْتُ كَنْزٍ مَخْفِيًا فَأَرَتُونْ أَعْرَفْ أَوْ أَحْبَبْتُونْ أَعْرَفْ فَخَرَقْتُ الْإِنسَانَ لِيَعْرِفُونِي You know, I was a hidden treasure that, that desired to be known or wanted to be known. So I created creation to know me. I, I think in the end, words will fall short. There's, there's a kind of ineffable... Uh, state that the human being has to enter into in that presence, you know, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, these are all the tajalliyat of Allah's attributes. You know, see the creator in the creation, see the provider in the provision. Um, the one who knows the truth will see the truth in everything. So Allah doesn't need us, and we believe that. Um, Allah is, is غنيون عنا ونحن نحن محتاجون إلى الله مفتقرون إليه. The definition of ilah is is المستغن المستغني عن الكل والكل مفتقرون إليه. Independent of everything, and everything is dependent upon uh, God. That that's God. So, Raghib says there's three reasons that God gives us for the creation: to worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, to cultivate the world, istamar, istamar kum fiha, and sha'akum min al-ard, istamar kum fiha, and then istikhlaf that we replace the people that went before us and we bring forth our replacements. Our children are our replacements. And, and this goes on until Allah shuts it down. When Allah wants to close it down, Allah will close it down. So, we, we, you know, these are the things we just have to um, accept. But Allah, nothing, Allah is not compelled by anything outside of God's own essence. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no mukrih lahu. Do you, do you I want to add anything, Sheikh Masuk, to that? Uh, <laughs> what's that? I mean, this is your area of, alhamdulillah. Kafa al jawab fi shay. Any other questions?